Well, let's begin our time of devotion by singing softly and tenderly, which is hymn number 61. Hymn number 61, which is softly and tenderly. Softly and tenderly Jesus is calling Calling for you and for me See on the portals He's waiting and watching Watching for you and for me Come home, come home You are weary, come home Earnestly, tenderly Jesus is calling Calling, oh sinner, come home why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading, pleading for you and for me? Why should we linger and need not his mercies, mercies for you and for me? Come home, come home. tenderly Jesus is calling calling oh sinner come home oh for the wonderful love he has promised promised for you and for me though we have sinned we have mercy and pardon pardon for Come home, come home, you are weary, come home, earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, oh sinner, come home. Well, today I want us to realize how much the Lord loves us. And love is a powerful emotion, isn't it? Perhaps it's one of the strongest of all the human emotions. People will go to great lengths to express love, and they'll do almost anything to get love. And so, if love is in so much demand, well then... Why is it in such short supply? To paraphrase this song you might know, why is love the only thing that there's just too little of? Well, the problem with human love is that it's usually self-centered. Much of the so-called love that we feel could be summarized by the phrase, what's in it for me? We may think we love someone, but in reality, we may simply love what he or she does for us. The great writer C.S. Lewis identified four different kinds of love, and all but one which are basically self-centered. First, there's affection, which is the kind of love that we can have for some something or someone such as a dog or a home or a car and then there's another love for friendship a valuable love in the sense that it's the basis of most human relationships uh, another type of love that C.S. Lewis talks about is erotic love which is beautiful between a, a husband and a wife or a marriage partner. 
but a mess outside uh, of married love. All of these are wonderful and necessary loves, but each of us depends on one another as the object of affection for complete fulfillment. The last type of love that C.S. Lewis mentions is the only love that is completely other-centered, and that's called agape love. This is the love of the highest order. It's what Lewis called divine gift of love. When we love with agape love, we desire the best for the people that we care for. When we are even able to love those who each of us de when we are even able to love those who are unlovable we are all capable of agape love only to the extent that we give the details of our lives over to God and allow him to work in us but even before that can happen, we must realize that God loves us and that God can only give us this kind of agape love. God's love is never self-centered. God's love is always sacrificial. While we were enemies of God, he loved us. When we ran from God, he loves us. He loved us so much that he sacrificed his son. The son that he loved the most so that we could experience eternal life. Love is the essence of God. Love is what motivates him to do what he does down to the very last detail. So even when we don't love him in return, knowing that should give tremendous meaning to our lives. And so when we think about God being in the small stuff of life, think about times whenever we feel insignificant, we can remember how important we are to God. Not because we can really give him anything, but just because he loves us. The unique individual God created you to be. Nothing more or nothing less. Unconditional love comes from our Heavenly Father alone. God does not help us because we deserve it. He helps us because he loves us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your love today. We admit that um, our love is so um, temporary and so um, selfish at times. Teach us about your agape love, that you love us unconditionally, no matter what we can do or can't do. Lord, just like the writer of um, 1 Corinthians in the 13th chapter, he says that, that love hopes for all things and believes all things, that love never fails. And so, God, we thank you that your love never fails today, God. We thank you, Lord, that you love us when we don't feel uh, significant or uh, even remembered, Lord. You remember us, and you know exactly where we are because you love us so much. We thank you, Father. Fill our hearts today, God, with that love. Drive away all other forms of, of negativity of fear, of bitterness, of anger, of doubt, of hatred. Lord, none of that is from you. 
but your deep abiding love, which is unconditional. We thank you, Heavenly Father. And it's in this spirit, Lord, that we come to you, remembering the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. And please pray with me, friends. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, our very last uh, hymn for today is uh, going to be back on page number 41. Page number 41. And that's hymn, Blessed Assurance. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above Echoes of mercy, whispers of love This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Well, friends, now may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may his face shine upon you. May he turn and look upon you and give you his face. Go in peace. Be saved. Now the Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord deal kindly and graciously with you. The Lord bestow his favor upon you and grant you his peace. <laughs>